Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So, I have discovered a hair oil that I think is pretty awesome. I purchased this oil about a month ago and I've been using it ever since and it's pretty close to perfect for my hair. Now I have relaxed hair, um, I've had relaxed hair forever almost, uh, for decades, let's just put it that way, and at some point I may try the natural thing, but it's not in my immediate future. So, what I need for my hair products are a couple of things. I need something that, because my hair is relaxed, um, I don't know if it's because my hair is relaxed, but my hair is very fine. So what I need is something that's going to put moisture into my hair and is not going to weigh it down and make it look really heavy and greasy and stiff. Um, and, you know, I mean, I like the movement of my hair and I want to keep it that way. I also need something that's going to make it shiny. My hair in its natural state is just not very shiny. It's um, kind of dull and it could be clean. It could have, you know, very few products in it it's still just not going to be naturally shiny. So what I want from a product is something that's going to put moisture into my hair, that's going to protect my hair, and that's going to, if at all possible, make it nice and shiny and healthy looking. It can't weigh it down, as I said earlier. If it's going to be an oil or any kind of product, it has to kind of go in and moisturize and do its stuff without leaving my hair really heavy and greasy. And I think I may have found the product. The product is Subaki oil. Let me get up close for you. Now the box comes with this kind of like push down. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, Subaki. It's all in Japanese, so I can't read it. If you know Japanese, go for it. But it is Japanese Camellia oil. Alright, otherwise known as Subaki oil. That's the box. The product inside, pardon me, looks like this. Oh, it's a beautiful glass bottle. It has some Japanese characters on it. It's just lovely. I mean, this sitting on your vanity or what have you looks really pretty. Um, but what's inside of it is the good stuff. So inside of this is pure uh, Subaki oil. And the oil is not really light. It's not very heavy either. Um, I don't know if you can see kind of jiggle around in there. But I would say it's kind of like a medium viscosity oil. It's not quite as heavy, I don't think, as like um, an olive oil. But it's not super, super light either. Like, I don't know, because I don't put a whole lot of different oil. Like a coconut oil. It's not really super light like a coconut oil. Um, it's somewhere in the middle. Now, the thing I also really like about this oil is that it comes with the top like that. And when you put it upside down, you might have to wait a second, but it drops one out, one drop at a time. And I like that. So I'll try and do it so you can see. So I'm holding it upside down. I can see a little drop wanting to come, but nothing's happening. So what I'll do is give it a shake and I get like one drop of oil out. You can see how runny it is. It's not super runny, but it is running. This oil is really, really nice. Um, I put it on my hair after I wash it when it's still damp. Uh, it's been towel dried a little bit, but it's still damp. I use two drops. If I use more than two, like three, which I'm heavy handed, so I kind of do. Um, when I use three drops, I do find that once my hair is dry, it's a little bit weighed down. It's a little bit greasy looking, and I'm not real, real fond of that. But if you find, if your hair is like mine, and you find that you do two drops, and by the next day, it's still not quite as juicy as you want it, then you can go ahead and put one more drop, really, really work through your hands, and then kind of scrunch it through your hair. I find that that doesn't really weigh my hair down very much if you do it that way. Um, but this stuff is great. You can use it on your hair. Um, it's really moisturizing, has a lot of omega fatty acids in it. Um, I find that it penetrates my hair really, really well. I find that it makes it very, very shiny. That's 
pretty much all I have in my hair now in terms of shine. And like I said, my hair is not shiny all by itself. Um, so it adds some great shine to my hair. It keeps it moisturized. Like, I wash my hair twice a week. Um, so after a couple days, any other, using anything else, I kind of give my hair a little squeeze test, squeeze it, and it kind of sounds crunchy. And I find that when I use this baby, it's not crunchy. Um, it feels, it, it almost doesn't even, it doesn't have a sound. It's just really juicy and luscious and wonderful. Um, you can put it on your skin. Now, I tried putting it on my skin, to be quite honest. I have very, very oily skin. And so, oils in my skin don't really work. It doesn't really work for my skin. And I know that there are some oily skin girls who use oils and swear by them and they work for them. But the few I've tried don't really work for my skin. I end up getting uh, pimples. Um, so I don't really, I tried it once or twice. It was okay. It did leave me greasy. I did get a pimple or two. So, you know, take from that what you will. All right. But some people do put it on their face um, as a moisturizer. It's a really good moisturizer. What I do use it for are my hands, and I've been rubbing it into my hands now, and they're really soft. Um, I love putting some in my cuticles um, and really massaging it into my cuticles at night. And I find that when I do that, when I wake up in the morning, um, my nails look great. My cuticles look great. They're not all dry and icky looking and gross and beat up looking. <laughs> They're really good and juicy. Um, I've heard that some people use this Subaki oil um, as like a pre-treatment. So they'll put it in their scalp, they'll massage it into their scalp, and then they'll leave it for 10 minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever, and then wash it out and, and they're fine with that. I've not tried that this in that capacity. Um, it's a slight bit heavy because it's heavier than coconut oil. Um, it makes me nervous that it's not all going to wash out. It might. Perhaps someday I'll get brave and try it, but I haven't tried that that yet. I have something else that I'll talk about in a future video um, that I use for that, and I'll show you and tell you all about that. But um, as an after shampoo oil, as something that um, really moisturizes my hair and really makes it shiny and healthy looking, and you know, the claims on this also say that it helps repair hair, and uh, oh gosh, it says all kinds of stuff, helps prevent dandruff, um, treats damage from coloring, and perming, and um, it's a barrier, it provides a barrier against uh, environmental pollutants. All that I don't really know about because I don't use it in that capacity. I mean, it might help with protecting my hair against environmental pollutants. Don't all oils do that? I don't know. I'm <laughs> just asking. But so anyway. Um, it's really, really a good oil to use. I highly recommend it in terms of hair. Um, if you have really dry skin, you might want to try it on your skin. It might work. I don't know. I can't really speak to that. But as a hair oil, this is wonderful. This product is in a bottle that contains 60 milliliters. And I got this from Amazon, and it was about... 18 something not quite 19 dollars and i just looked before i made this video and you can still buy it on amazon for around 18 something 1840 1853 something like that right around 18 i like i said i've had this for a good month and that is all i've used and i use this uh twice a week i use two to three drops per shampoo um and that's all of you. So this will last a really long time. It will probably go rancid before it's used up the way I use it. Now, if I used it all over my body um, or on my face, I'd pr I'm sure, I mean, obviously, I'd go through it a lot quicker, but I don't. So there you have it. So 
that's it, basically. Um, all the good things. It's supposed to be really chock-a-block full of omega fatty acids, vitamin E, and all kinds of other good stuff. It's It works for me. Um, it works really, really well for me, and I do highly recommend this as an oil to try. And the good thing about Amazon is that if you try it, it doesn't work for you, you hate it, you can send it back for free. So there you go. So what I would really like and appreciate from you is if you could leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite hair oil is or what your favorite hair product that makes your hair just, I don't know, just like shiny and bouncy and like good feeling and wonderful. I'd really like to know that. So, you know, tell me, please. Okay? All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching. And I will see you soon. And subscribe for more content like this and more beauty reviews. Thanks so much. Bye.